So if all you're doing right now is listening to me, definitely check out the screen because there's so much stuff to cover that I just don't want to spend five minutes reading every single title. Firstly, I want to go over the AI stuff. I know I'm talking about this a lot, but it genuinely interests me a ton. So I highlighted the part that we needed to read over on the Yahoo Finance website. It says, Nvidia does not disclose the H100 prices, which are higher than the prior generation of the A100, but each chip is going to be selling for $16,000 to $100,000, depending on the volume and other factors meta is going to be planning on bringing its total stock to 350,000 h100s this year nvidia officials have met with representatives from amazon.com meta microsoft google and open ai in order to discuss making custom chips for them two sources familiar with the meetings said oh my goodness i hate i hate it when people's two sources for the familiar meeting said these parts always because i always read it wrong because you have no idea they're they're going to be like oh these said this beyond the data center chips nvidia has pursued telecom automotive and video game customers nvidia shares rose 2.75 percent after the router's report helping lift chip stocks overall marvel shares dropped 2.7 2.78 so dude I'm just, dude, I love AI. I genuinely love AI because I love retro games. I love playing old school games. I genuinely like that. So the time, the point in time where I became very, very, very interested in AI is when I use the emulator BSNES HD. And then they also have a Sega Genesis GX Plus widescreen emulator. And basically this takes those games four by three aspect ratio and it turns them into 16 by nine so that you can play them on a modern TV so that you can play them. Forgot on to say to monitor. like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. So it says AMD's mid-range RDNA 4 GPUs are shaping up to be NVIDIA's RTX 4080 and then 4060 Ti, which is going to kill them. I know I read that wrong, but they may not arrive until 2025. Navi 48 and 44 is set to dominate the spectrum of mid-range graphics cards with compelling value propositions. And this is the part that we need to read right here. As a quick recap through speculation, is that the RDNA 4 AMD is going to top out the mid range and it will have Navi 48 and Navi 44 chips. So there won't be any higher end GPUs this time around, like the current 7900 XTX flagship from RDNA 3. The new spec info MLID and parts here is that these RDNA 4 GPUs we can expect boost clocks of around 3.4 or 3 gigahertz to 3.3 gigahertz and that on the memory front we won't get GDDR7 AMD is likely going to use 20 gigabytes per second GDDR6 for these next generation cards the more telling performance prediction is how these GPUs are going to shape up versus Nvidia's current Lovelace lineup and then AMD's own current gen offerings we're told that the beefier Navi 48 affair should be somewhere between the performance of the 7900 XT and the 7900 XTX, mostly, most likely for a rasterization that is non-ray tracing frame rates. This means that the GPU could be equal of the outgoing RTX 4080 or best case scenario, it could be a rival for the RTX 4080 Super. Add plenty of seasoning with this, of course. With the lower end Navi 44 graphics card, we're looking at performance between the RX 7600 XT and the 7800 XT, again for rasterization. So we can roughly expect the equivalent of a 7700 XT plus or minus 10% or so, or an RTX 4060 Ti killer as MLID ID puts it. So the other sources indicate that it's possible AMD could launch RDNA 4 this year, maybe in quarter three or perhaps quarter four. This It's definitely gonna be in quarter four, but that team red, might hold off until the start of 2025. Why question mark? Because of two main reasons. Firstly, Nvidia supposedly only has the RTX 5090 coming in late 2024 and no other Blackwell graphics cards until 2025. So there'll be no rival for the Navi 48 until next year and no need to respond to the 5090, which will be well out of RDNA 4's leak. I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't really agree with that. I think that, uh, I think that AMD releasing a graphics card actually worth buying before Nvidia releases their cards that everybody is going to buy anyways would be a good idea so that AMD can actually generate sales for their graphics cards 
before a before nvidia releases the cards <laughs> their cards that's just me that's just my opinion though so next up is intel 15th generation core i7 15700k being spotted with 20 cores avx 512 and hyper threading boat is me so 20 cores 20 threads base clock of 2.3 gigahertz so it doesn't mean much the supposed 1500k is going to consist of 24 cores whatever this is i don't understand that right now with a base clock of 3 gigahertz yeah just, i'm just dude at what point i'm just okay i'm just i'm just gonna say it out i have a 14900k okay there's like zero percent time it's like zero percent time this cpu drops between under five gigahertz it is like running at five to six gigahertz all of the time i could just have my computer on with nothing no google open no obs open nothing poof it's like and i open up my task manager it's just sitting there hovering around five gigahertz for no reason <laughs> For disappointing is AMD is already supporting the 512 bit instructions on its Ryzen 7000 series. Okay. AMD uses 256 bit data to register execute 512 for over two consecutive cycles. All right, so you know what? We're just going to move on because I genuinely, I just, I'm very confused right now. So is this? Dude, I don't like it when I I know I I don't understand this article, guys. I really don't. This can How many of you are understanding this? Cuz I'm not. So, AMD begins Zen 5 enablement for GNU compiler collection GCC. The new AVX instructions have been added. This right here. This is all this is what I wish the other website would do. So, this is really the only part that we need to, to show you. My camera's not in the way. But if you guys would like to read all the other stuff, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my camera real quick for you. That's really all that's really all we need to cover. I just wanted to share this with you. So Microsoft confirms the name of the next version of Windows, and it's not Windows 10. Windows 11 version 24H2 is going to be the name of the next major Windows operating system update. What you need to know, Microsoft has confirmed the next major operating system update is going to be dubbed Windows 11 this. This confirms the next release won't be called Windows 12 and is going to focus on next gen AI experiences and quality of life improvements. I know it was a little bit longer, but there's a lot of stuff going over. I'm most excited for what AI. I really am, dude. I'm super interested in AI and it's like, I don't know. I just, I'm very interested in it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the stuff. Peace.